Hey guys, I'm going to show you how I warp tracks. I just learned how to do it not too long ago, and I've warped a lot of tracks in the last couple weeks, so here's the way I do it. Drag this track in from your browser. You can open it up. The first thing I do is I listen to the track by itself with no warp on so I can get the original tempo. And then I hit the tap tempo button to match that tempo. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. Say about the 170 range. This is drum and bass. So I set the tempo to 170 and stop the track. Now I'll go in here and I'll zoom into the track. Let me show you here. I want to find the very first beat of the track. I'll zoom all the way in here. Click the warp button. And Ableton will automatically sense the very first zero crossing point. And if it didn't do a good job, you go to right where the last point where the volume, the wave automate the wave diagram dips below the zero crossing, like right there. I could probably place this better. There we go. Right click set 1.1.1 from here. Now over here there's different warp modes and the more advanced ones use more CPU but they're more accurate and using a full track you're going to want to either use Repitch, Complex or Complex Pro. And I usually use Complex Pro just because that's the best one and I got a good computer that can handle it. So then you go back to this first warp marker you right click and you go warp from here this is how I do it. Some people put warp from straight, and I just do warp from here. And then I back out. Now you see right here, it's placed a couple of blocks here and there. Now you turn on your metronome and you check to see how good of a job it did. Let's hit play and check it out. You hear that? It's right on. So you're going to want to go through the song and check different spots to see if it lined up all the way through the track. Yep. That's on. Still on way back there. So it did a pretty good job. So if you want to zoom in and check and you see if it's a little, see if it's a little bit off right there, I can go ahead and I can add another marker. You know, line a couple of these up on the even beats. We have to do this once. That's the good news. Once you've got it warped and it's lining up to the metronome and everything, you come over here to the sample window. And you click on save. And that's going to save an ASD file. It's an Ableton warp file. Wherever your original track is located. Whatever folder your music's in. So... You have to remember that if you're taking...